All right, welcome to Tommy's Breaks. Another beautiful day. It's the same beautiful day. I know, but we're gonna put these out on different days. You're ruining the. Uh, that's that's like our, that's our version of editing. It's two separate videos back to back, but we're going to uh, put them on different days. You spoiled it, dude. Spoilers. It's okay. <laughs> we don't put out enough stuff, which is fine. We're just doing this for fun. So, what do you think? So today's all about shiny stuff. Chinese stuff is cool. Chrome came out. The uh, a lot of the refractor stuff is pretty hot. You know the pink and the sepias. And uh, recently Walmart put out their mega boxes with the X fractor, which are my favorite. And the nice thing about X fractors is so you've got the different kind of chrome. You have the chrome, you've got the refractor, and then you get into the pink and the sepia, and the, well, then you have the prism. Then you get the pink sepia and X fractor, and those kind of uh, give you a little bit more pop for the for the card. And the nice thing is like. You know the Tatis is going just nuts, so you get more out of that than you would a, a regular Chrome. It's probably going nuts because of he's, he's the solo best player home in rum and then the leading the league Grand Slam. Twelve. Well, he, the three zero Grand Slam, but yeah, twelve home runs leading the league. Um, Mr. Acuna comes back today, and the cool thing about update X Fractors is they're numbered, and so that one's out in ninety nine. So. Um, there's a fancy autograph version that's numbered out of a, a few more 125, but so the update refract X fractors I think uh, give you they're real nice because of the uh, the numbering. So, anyways, shiny stuff. Let's go. Here's the first one. And anytime I see a charred shed, I'm gonna probably buy it. That is the prism version that I have uh, that I have not yet acquired. So now we have it. <laughs> um, a player that I'm pretty excited about. Uh, and again, his stuff is pretty cheap still. Is Mr. Trent Grisham from the Padres. Again, league leader in war. We've got a base, a refractor, and a pink. And was there another one in there? Did you see the X-Fractor? Uh, oh, yeah. And the X-Fractor. So if I can find a, a Sepia, then I'm going to be good to go. But yeah, that's a player that um, I think will be exciting. And again, he's getting kind of lost in the shuffle with all the other rookies for this year so I'll I'll go ahead and take a take a few flyers on them at these prices so and one of the other good rookies very good rookie um Kyle Lewis yeah strike struck out a lot last year so I think there were some concerns about him this year but um he's showing that he is worthy of the 12th pick overall and uh in in uh in the major league draft and in fantasy purposes went way way you know, way later or whatever but um yeah he's he's his stuff is kind of I mean, gosh, he could be Rookie of the Year this year. I think that'll really give a lift to his stuff. So, again, get it now while you can, I suppose. Gavin Lux. This I'm was... probably going to call him one of the top rookies this year. Well. Top 10, maybe. You know, I think he's got to play. And then once he does that, we can maybe call him a top rookie. So, he's still on the uh, the farm team. He's not really playing at all. Um, certainly, coming into the season, he was one of the top three that everybody was looking for. But um, I think Grisham and Lewis have kind of jumped past him and... Um, you know, if, if Lux managed to make his way to the majors, then yeah, maybe he could be a top 10 guy. We'll see. I mean, at the start, he was pretty good. He's, he's, again, he hasn't, he's, last year, he hasn't played. People are looking for good things out of him. I said at the start of this year, he was pretty good. I think the hype was pretty good, but his play, so we haven't seen it yet. This guy was pretty good. Yeah. Last year. He was hurt this year, came back, and now he's, I think he's out for the year. Wait, so. don't I have a refractor of him? But it's not pink, right? I don't know. Yeah, I do, except do it's not pink. All right. Well, here's this is this is a pink. So Jordan, I don't know, man. I uh, I get a little worried about Mr. Alvarez. Um, those knee problems could be an issue for him yeah. going down the road. So I don't know what his longevity looks like, but gosh, when he's healthy, um, he sure hits. <laughs> so all right, here's my favorite guy. Here's my horse. The Bobochet. The Bobochet. We've got the we pulled a couple pinks. Um, can't find any Chrome products, so now is we're just gonna have sepia? to buy. That's the Sepia. Yeah. Oh, okay. Sepia, Sepia. Um, can't find this stuff anywhere, so I guess I'm just down to buying singles, which I'll probably save money on, actually. But yeah, that's a, a guy that I think his longevity is a little less in question, and looks like a, a, a pretty nice play, pretty nice player, really nice player, excellent player. And here comes the X Fractor. X Fractor, because I like sparkle and shiny. I don't know why. I just do. Some people don't. I mean, I do. It, it, it looks kind of shiny, which means it's worth a lot. Not necessarily, not at all. Just because it looks shiny. It doesn't mean it can be worth a lot, but Correct. sometimes. But it's a player that I like. But sometimes so it's a lot if it's shiny, it can be. It can be worth a lot. Okay, if you're a tattoo shiny. Okay, last one here. We'll wrap it up with. 
It's Luis Robert. X Factor. So he's off to a nice start this year, but he's kind of. Uh, I, don't, I, I like Eloy better and all that kind of stuff. I believe he'll be awesome down the road. And so you could probably let his prices settle in, but uh, I'm impatient like that. And we're just going to kind of get his stuff now in case he actually explodes and, you, and, and never looks back. So what do you think? Shiny? Sparkle in the sun? Shiny on a beautiful day. It's probably matches. All right, man. We'll take it. Thanks for checking out our video. Talk to you later. Bye.